Today I'm going to show you our new tool known as Canvas. With this tool you'll be able to create templates for funnels that you can further edit in Pixel Perfect. And I'm going to start off here by just clicking add a funnel. This is going to get everything started. Just give it a simple name here. And now you're going to select one of the templates that we have. Um, for this video I'm going to use the webinar funnel template as it's a simple one to start off with. And you can always make changes to the types of pages that you're using. This is just a great way to start. Okay, so as you can see here, we have kind of the flow of the funnel. They start here and they get to the end here, which is the webinar broadcast. But for sake of this video, I'm just going to show you some of the basics. So we start off here where you can edit the pages. Um, we have themes and we get to select the layout that the pages go in. When you want to select a theme for this specific page type, we only have two. And you can also preview these in another window. If I click view, it'll show you a preview of the uh, funnel and what it would look like. So I'm going to select this one. And then as well, when you initially would create one of these pages, it gives you the option to add an app. And one of them is create form because this is a registration page. So I get to edit the form here on this tab. We select mailing boss as the service and then here is going to be a list of all of the lists you have in your mailing boss account. I'm just going to pick the one known as test. And originally these would be blank but you get to select the pages that go for the redirects. If anybody's familiar with Pixel Perfect, you know that for the email marketing forms you can select the confirmation pending, the confirmed, and the canceled after the user has done one of those actions. So for the confirmation pending page we already have selected the confirm email page here which is kind of like a message saying to check your email. And then for the confirmed we already have the webinar pa page over here which is a gateway through the webinar indoctrination page. And then we don't have one selected for canceled as it's not really that important right now for the sake of this video but if you were to want them to go to a page after the user would be canceled you would select that page right here. Okay and then also for pages such as this one you can add a pop-up and if I create a pop-up we get to select one of the themes for the pop-up here. If I select create pop-up we have uh, two themes the generic and the opt-in. I'll just select the generic and the, this one is going to pop up when you click a button on the page. You'll be able to, to select the button and create it when you go to Pixel Perfect because this is just a template and it's giving the uh, kind of like the layout of the pages. And you would be able to select a redirect if there was a button on the pop up for the, the redirect to go to after they would do the action that is on the pop up. So for that, we can close. If, any, if at any time instead of going through this page you just wanted to edit these you could just right click and click edit element and it would take you to that same screen you just saw. And then for this is just the same you can just edit the themes of any of the pages. For this type of page we have a few more. I'll just select one of these. And then for any of these pages you also have the option to select a different layout. I'll do it for this page for example just in case after they get to this point you want them to be put in a separate layout perhaps maybe for restricted purposes. We also have a webinar registration members one too where the webinar is only accessible by certain people who pay or become members of your website. So for this one if I go to edit page I can select a layout as you can see we only have one currently selected but if I wanted to add a new one I could just type it out here and also I can change the color of the indicator and I'll show you what that means in just a second. But if I select this green color, so I'm also going to restrict it for this purpose. If I were to just create it, it would create a different non-restricted layout. But if I click restricted, this is going to kind of basically create a restricted area. But for further uh, details on this, you'll probably have to do it in Pixel Perfect so you understand like the checkout or if there's a form that they need to fill out here to get to this part but for this I'm just going to do the access type as a user and then uh, the email marketing so as long as they've joined a list they can automatically be put in the restricted area so I'll create this and then I will go back to edit this and then I can select that layout as you can see 
the indicator on this color here changed to indicate that this is part of that layout now. And then I guess that would be everything here. Also, it's noted that you can delete any of these links. These are the links for the, the where the direction of the user is going. And I can just delete any of them at any time, or I can fix it by clicking on this link button here and clicking on the other page. So we refix that link. To add a page to any of these, you just click this add here. And then as we can see, there might be like a product offer. You put like here, and then you can also again select themes, product launch, fitness, any of these would work depending on what your niche is or what you're trying to get the customer to get. And as you can see on this type of page, there's the option to add a checkout. Adding a checkout is, is it's a simple it's a simple configuration here, but you can also edit the checkout in Pixel Perfect, as I will show you when we get to that point. And then you can also set the pages to go to after they have created the purchase. It'll let you know that you don't have a payment restricted area configured. If I would have picked that for this restricted area, it would let me pick that restricted area because it would be locked to someone paying. So I will simply leave it like this. And now you can see we have the checkout on the page as well. And always just go back and edit that element. Okay, so at this point, we looks like we're ready to save. One more thing that you can do here is you can kind of edit the way the lines look. If you want them to be curved, straight, I'll show you what they look like. You can change the width a little bit. I'll keep it as a plain arrow and we'll update. So to see these changes, you'll have to save and reload. So now I'll save the page. I'll go back to home and I'll reload it. And now you can see they're all straight lines with no uh, corners, with no 90 degree angle corners. I can change that again. We can try the curve line, make it a little wider, make it a little rounder, make it red, use some arrows and some circles here, update. And again, we'll have to save it and reopen it. Ah, see, this looks even cooler. You have the red curved lines. They start with a bullet and end with an arrow. So as, for, as far as this point goes, we'll save it one more time. And then we can create the website. So if I were to create the website here, I have to name it. I'm just going to name it tutorial for canvas it's going to create the website and this website is going to end up in your pixel perfect my sites I'm gonna click OK I'm gonna go back to the pixel perfect area here and you can see the tutorial for canvas has been created which you can open the editor for it and this is where you're going to do all of the details for your site. As Canvas is only a template builder, you can't do any uh, hard, hard editing on text, on images, anything like that. It's just simply a template editor. And then any further editing and creation you want to do on your site, you would do here through Pixel Perfect. Okay, so I think that's everything with our Canvas builder up to this point. We will probably be making new updates to this, adding new templates in the future, stuff like that. But hopefully you guys enjoy this new tool that we have and have a great day.